Hello dear friends, uh, welcome back to my channel once again. Uh, today we are going to configure this uh, CP Plus camera. So the product has come, I just ordered and then it came arrive here. So we will see what is inside. So let's get started. So let's open the package and you will find some manual book out here like this. Okay, so you can just go through what is the things it is showing there and again you will see a sticker like this where you can paste uh, wherever you want to put place the camera so this is another nice sticker and they have put the showing where to put the screw where to drill all those things and then the package come this way make sure that the things are safe so let's keep away that and you will also find here to keep your cable nice gripped and uh, hold you know make sure they are not loose and all that to feed that one so we have also this that's nice okay so now let's go to the camera so we can see the camera has been there and also you will also find some adjustment this thing you will also find some screws out here okay so let's look at the camera now so the camera comes like this so it is packed and you'll find one here this is LAN and this is where if you are not using the PoE switch then you have to use extra uh, power cable for this but since I'm going to use the PoE switch we will not be requiring this power so the camera is a doom camera so it looks like that it is nice so let's start to fix these things first of all you will be needing some you know LAN cable like this and then uh, this is the camera so you will also be uh, needing one PoE switch so I've ordered the PoE also so now it is come like this it's a dealing so let's open that also so inside that this one you will also find the power this is the power and this is where you can place on the wall and all if you want it and then we have a PoE switch here and then you also have a manual book if you want to go through so this is our uh, PoE uh, 8 port PoE here uh, it's written here PoE as you can see and it's a D-Link and you also have the facilities like uh, you want to extend uh, you want to do the VLAN and all that so nice uh, switch so now we have a PoE and then we also have the power so let's take it out this okay and this power cable as well so now let's start fixing this so this is the power and this C 52 volt and 2.3 ampere adapter so it just fix this way okay nice and clean so now just keep it aside so now let's plug the power here okay and then we will put the power make sure that there is a light coming out here so let's put the power as well first of all so this one will go to this power switch there so let me plug in so now I have plug into the switch now you can see the light indicator and we got a light in the uh, PoE switch there's a 8 port now we need a LAN cable that means uh, the one which is coming the which you have already the uplink the internet cable so it will go here and this one will go to the uh, computer and one will go to the this IP camera so I have already one my cable this one is going to the my CPU and this is the internet cable the white cable internet cable so we can see that 
so now I want to place this internet cable here make sure that the green light is blinking and now this cable is to my computer so let's plug yeah so now you can see that light indicator it is blinking that means there is a already link between this internet is already there so now we have to fix one cable I'm going to use this cable for my CP plus camera so I'm going to fix it here and this one will go to the this port of this camera so I put in here so there I don't have to put the extra adapter for power cable for this camera so now we can see it's already faded and you can see the light is blinking now okay so let's go to the second step that is uh, we will have to open our CMD command prompt and find what is your IP so let's put the IP config and we'll find out our IP address so currently my IP address is this okay it's a class C private IP address and now my IP address is 28 and my default gateway okay so now I find my IP address and one more thing you have to install is you have to f install this IP finder which is uh, helpful this will help you to find what the IP camera is using so let's find out that so when you find out you will see any device that is connected to this so if you didn't find here you can just uh, click that and you can just refresh once again and you will find the, the whatever the device is being connected so right now you can see that my IP camera has been detected by this uh, IP finder and then now I want to modify so in order to modify or you want to initialize if the status of this is not initialized you can also go tick this one and then initialize in that way uninitialized can become initialized okay so now I can see I want to modify this IP address so whatever the IP address it comes from the company you should modify that so that you know what IP that you'll be using so according to your private IP address you can use that so let's modify that so you can just go here click this and then if you are using DHCP you can also use DHCP but as I'm going to use the static IP as of now I'm going to put my IP range so I'm going to use that I'm going to use this as let's say I'm going to use okay I'm going to use is 10 and then let me put the subnet mask to 550 and then I'm going to put a default gateway yeah so this is my IP address okay uh, something okay sorry yeah I put 10 so this have to be 0 okay so now as you can see here there is this mark result shows that there is not yet change so now what I can do is I can just go to the search settings here so let me put the admin password click OK and then it is trying to change that I refresh that now you just go here now this is stand and I'm trying to change that and now it is tick so let me change refresh again now it has been changed okay so IP has been changed to what IP I wanted so now we are good to go so we can just close this and we will open our browser Google Chrome and in the browser you just put the IP camera IP address so one and two I can put here and just press enter and that will take you direct to the CP plus uh, configurations of this camera and then I will just have to put my uh, username and password so I just have to put my username and password once again in order to configure the IP camera 
as you can see now we are logging to this configurations of the CP plus as you can see my camera now it's able to see so it's moving and you can see that my hand is moving around there okay so and then there are so many settings that you can do you can also go to this uh, playback and then you can also go to the settings remember dear friends uh, we are not using this DVR and VR and all like that we are just directly accessing the camera from the web so anywhere you are you can you know access your camera so that's a good point so whatever you s do the want to do the settings you can do the settings uh, so uh, this is how you can configure the IP camera I hope uh, the video has been informative for you and I liked it thank you and please don't forget to subscribe like and share